New at five. Women in politics. It's been a century since women won the right to vote, and still they are underrepresented in public office. But a lot has changed. Although there has yet to be a female president, we've come close. And there are several strong women in the legislature. Pending your sides, Marlena Belores takes us to a panel where local elected officials discuss the barriers that women do face. Yeah, and obviously a lot has changed in the last century. What's really cool about this panel is that it was planned by a student at Tallwood High School in Virginia Beach. It was Rachel McGraw's senior uh, project and she was so excited to see so many women win in the 2016 midterms but when she did more research she saw just how underrepresented women are in politics so she decided to do something to change that young women and men filled Tallwood High School's auditorium Friday morning listening to the stories of female leaders I'm really grateful that we could have people from all different parts of the political world to come give their perspectives and just hear what they have to say the panel is Rachel McGraw's senior project but when I started looking I saw that there really weren't that many in our government still. So I wanted to look into why that happens and do something to fix it. Students heard from Mayor of Suffolk, Linda Johnson, former candidate for Senate, Missy Cotter Smossel, Dr. Sonia Finley, Virginia Beach Councilwoman, Sabrina Wooten, and Representative Elaine Luria. And I know that this is a critical time in, in their um, educational career where they're making decisions about what they'd like to do in the future. Luria hopes the panel inspires the young people in the room. It's not just them seeing themselves, particularly, you know, sitting in the seat of one of us in the panel, but the understanding that the whole community works together and that we represent the community. Her biggest piece of advice for young women and men who want to get into politics? Don't be afraid to, to set your goals high and think about the things that you can do um, throughout the course of your career that can give you the experience, can engage you with the community and, you know, pave a path. It's a message McGraw hopes her classmates listen to. I hope some of the young women will be inspired to go into, whether it be politics or whatever field they want, they can do whatever they want. Love that experience. Loria says a record 127 women currently serve in Congress. That's just shy of 24 percent. She hopes one day that number's closer to 50 percent. I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.